Hello everyone, it's me for Soldier Gaming. In this video, I just want to talk about Michiko Gaming video about how to kite Sangria and another video is kite Sangria but they said low tier because my friend saw me that video and asked me is this true? How to kite Sangria? Okay. Before I talk about that, I have four points to talk here. It's the first one, her her strategy pre-drop palette the second one uh, the problem I saw in her video it's look back problem another one the third one is walking sangria and the fourth the fourth one is she talking about bats so let's start about pre-drop palette okay about pre-drop palette we hike tier usually not try to drop early i give you example uh example this palette palette like this we can you can drop it first because sangria usually destroy it because this good palette to drop another example this bad palette don't drop it we hack tier usually we try to stun but in this video we talk about kait sangria see really fast you left this palette you will get hit so we hack tier usually try to stun not pre-drop the palette guys that's the example at the small house palette uh, this one you can drop this one before hunter come or while you kiting no need to try stun here because this one good palette for every hunter usually we hack here we go inside from here if hunter near we go here and we just drop it okay that's work every hunter that's basic kite guys and not another point is i won't talk about look back in her video sorry Michiko Gaming uh, Actually I saw a lot People already said In high tier it's hard to kite Sangria but She said you just need learn a bit how to kite Sangria So let's talk about her gameplay In her gameplay is uh, the new one uh, Kite Sangria but they said low tier that's the title in her video she spawn here and she cut sangria right she go to that place and then she force hunter break this pallet okay that's good you can pre-drop pallet if that pallet can force hunter to break it ah. after that she run to this place after we uh, she go to this place we hike there usually loop here at these two windows one here and another one this one we try to loop with windows because sangria will fall the windows uh, you you force them to fall then they cannot death for a few seconds so you have time to transition and we not blindly go to open array example like this in her new video run to this place in her video now look back drop and blindly run to this place and hope mini or best drop uh, block damage for you we competitive player we didn't do that but some hack tier do that some what uh you know what i mean it's a bad random usually have a 1000 match to reach champion i don't say bad about them they try hard i have respect to them just sometimes they have a bad game sense to be honest just like that okay let's talk about the third one walking sangria okay in her video 
I can compare it in my uh, on my tier, big tier, uh, high tier lah. We said on high tier, Sangria we meet is use death to chase survivor. It's um, death to this place and then death to this obstacle. When they won't get out, they basic hit and then death again. Not like um, in in Michiko video walking Sangria sorry about that so you must accept the fact because you talk talk about fact michiko so i hope you accept this and the fourth one is bats she talking about that's right you have a bats as uh b bats or c bats doesn't mean you have a s skill or you have at best uh, I mean as bats doesn't mean you have a skill on that character to be honest I'm former top 5 toy merchant I will not lie to you I don't have toy merchant skill I got carry and I got top 5 toy merchant uh, with my friend help I mean they kite i just support like that sometimes i kite really bad they can make it draw or win so you as bad doesn't mean you are really good example uh, okay i give a uh, example if you last season have a point example like 6000 point uh, example like this you lost season you have 9000 point and then early season you climb up again you already have a good start example you have around 3000 if not mistaken 3 or 4000 point so you just need play around 30 match maybe you if you win a lot that's 30 match you already guaranteed as bad that first week so the first week really easy to get S bets or A bets. Remember that. I just show you this my record about magician. This still top five. But I can show you I'm top one magician before. Okay, I just show you this one my my record before. Top one magician. And she also talked about win rate, right? okay let me show you about win rate uh, this my friend account i borrow last season and in this account i played 96 match and i won 71 games so i won more than half my uh, more than half la i i ever play so uh, uh not, not so sorry and in this record i try character i never play before it's postman so 96 match i play postman i win 71 time and i have win rate 88 percent so if you said griffin high tier sorry to say this griffin not a high tier in idv because uh the newest one tier system force you to rank up until mammoth and most of the players stuck at griffin tier so griffin is a still low tier and when you reach unicorn it's me it's mid tier until you reach champion and that titan okay you can call yourself high tier but if you're only a champion not really high tier i just just my opinion like that i have a lot as bets but doesn't mean i'm pro i i'm high tier player sometimes i die really fast when kite hunter so i just want to show you this i'm as a high tier player i just want correct you, correct you what she 
updates in her video so i hope you all understand what i said and if i have a mistake or wrong here you can correct me please comment below and okay bye bye uh okay sorry i forgot to show my menacon but uh, this this kind of all all screenshot because i forgot to screenshot the new one and i creating this video right now so i just show you this one uh this one uh august 13 2023 when i reached titan i have 60 percent win rate but this is an i to be honest i kind of low win rate around 46 if not mistaken because uh i rank up kind of slow so meet uh, a lot that random